With my second hat on as a co-lead of the Cochrane Planetary Health Thematic Group, I would like to mention the environmental impacts of AI use before sharing Irma and my conclusions. So we are witnessing a rapidly escalating climate emergency and the transgression of planetary boundaries that have enabled life on Earth. Therefore, it's crucial to take into account the impact of using these technologies, especially large language models. Why large language models? Because they have significant environmental impacts. Training and using LLMs requires vast computational resources, often powered by energy intensive data centers. These data centers need to be, need water to be cooled and their energy use leads to substantial carbon emissions. Their environmental footprint is influenced by factors like the model size, the training duration, hardware efficiency, and the energy source that is being used to power these data centers. So whether the data centers are being powered by renewable or fossil fuels. Um, a tech article um, from 2023 mentions that powering search with generative AI uses at least four to five times more computing power than a standard search. And um, Google says that its machine learning workloads represented about 15% of its total energy use over the last three years, so from 2020 to 2023. And a large cloud compute provider estimated that between 7 to 10% were totally spent on compute infrastructure um, that was supporting its AI applications, and 3 to 4.5% used for training the models, and 4 to 4.5% spent on using these models. So we must recognize the environmental impacts of AI and promote a responsible and sustainable use specifically of large language models for specific tasks in evidence synthesis and searching. Conclusions. AI and LLMs offer support for the systematic review search process. They promise efficiency. However, their use needs to acknowledge their current limitations, ethical and environmental implications, and the critical need for human oversight. Our observations are that AI and LLM supported academic search engines, they're useful for exploratory searches, but currently not an alternative to a full systematic search. AI and LLM design search strategies provide us with an inadequate balance of sensitivity and precision. And we can see that the human developed search strategies are much better. AI and LLMs may identify some errors in a search strategy, but cannot replace true peer review. Um, we also conclude that task specific tools may work better than general purpose chatbots. And LLMs have a significant environmental impact, which means they should only be used where they have shown to work best. Our conclusions, sorry, um, they're potentially helpful as a starting point, but we still need expertise to review, revise, and contextualize outputs uh, generated by large language models. Ideally, the development of AI tools for systematic review tasks should be done in a multidisciplinary team comprised of computer scientists, information and library scientists, systematic reviewers, to ensure that robust and adequate tools are developed. And for now, they cannot replace information specialists yet. In the future, AI could lead to a new systematic search approaches. So for example, they could, we could design even more sensitive strategies if the screening tasks can be substantially and robustly reduced by AI according to specific inclusion and exclusion criteria. We might also have different search interfaces for databases, for example, typing in PICO questions or giving a search interface a prompt like, please develop a PubMed search strategy that identifies the following 12 relevant seed references. 
We could also see tools like Epi Reviewer or use them for updating existing reviews by combining machine learning classifiers with Open Alex citation searching, so a free, free available database. And um, we could also improve interdisciplinary information seeking by, for example, in this study, uh, using an interactive system that facilitates collaboration between multidisciplinary researchers and large language models based on user topics of interest and posing exploratory questions that users can then further tailor. To end with this webinar, we would, um, or with our presentation, we would like to ask you a final question, which is, for which steps of the systematic searching process do you consider AI to be most useful? Perfect. So interestingly, around 68% think that exploratory searching is the most useful um, support that we can get from artificial intelligence, close to that search term identification, um, a bit more conservative, conservative estimates on the help of AI for search strategy development um, and gray literature searching, and not so many confident in the usefulness of um, AI for search strategy review. Well, with that, thanks a lot um, for your attention. Here are some key references that informed our talk. And Irma and I are happy to take questions now. Thank you.